Alright, I, I believe I'm live. Hello, YouTube cubes. I guess it's closer than 30 minutes after all, but that's because the uh, new thumbnail would not upload correctly. For some reason, uh, two days in a row where something wouldn't work. But uh, if you haven't been here, yesterday we played S Slay the Spire. If you didn't see the other Guild Wars 2 content, that was on uh, Tuesday when the content dropped. But we did not get to everything because I had to cut the day short because there was a vet appointment and things like that. So we're having a bonus show today uh, just to go back over the SAB content and check out World 3 and its content. Uh, that kind of stuff. So... Um, hope you have fun. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. There will always be Guild Wars 2 content. Well, at least at the moment. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Um, there won't be? I don't know what I'm trying to say. But, uh, yeah. If you want to check out other things, I guess we've been doing Sturdy Valley. We tried Balatro, uh, which is interesting. Still played a little bit of that... Last night. What the frick is that on my deck? Oh. Black Fuzzy? What? Why is there all these Black Fuzzies on my desk? I just noticed this. Anyways, we got stuff to do. Uh, we ready? We ready? We're pretty late start on a Saturday. And for Guild Wars 2. Um, but, trying to get some stuff done. How's my microphone. I have to move it back and forth. Last time we did World vs. World and it was amazing. We did a full tour of the Red BL again. <sighs> Let's bring the game up. Hey. 44,176 achievement points. The character we're going to be playing on should be just outside World 3. My ear, just like Lucky's yesterday, is giving me problems, too. So many things. On this at, well, high pollen right now, when it's only like 40 degrees out. It's double whammy. Alright, if you did not see the stuff on Tuesday, don't worry, we're gonna go back over it again, and I'm gonna see if I want to add anything else to my normal run here. Um, but we're sort of just gonna focus these dailies right here. Um... Got this done last night doing World vs. World because, you know, you have to beat champs in there and that kind of stuff. Ooze Transportation 101 isn't too hard. Uh, we have Aventry 203, so that's a that's an easy one. Interior Design 203, that's a pretty easy one. Uh, Environmental Science 201, did we cross that path? I don't think so. And of course, you could just do the uh, race event. If you're wondering what I have done for the festival, the nostalgia, so the annual is done. I have not done the Bumble Pugs, um, and I have not done Trib Mode, but I did the Explorer and Classic Mode, and then ran through World 3, and that's it. Zone Runner was going to happen one way or another, because I've been doing this every day. Don't forget to buy your weeklies. Also in the gym store. There are free transportation charges, five of them if you would like them. Um, just like that, done. Five transportation charges. I think that's it. That, that, I think that's it. This is all the rewards I have. I don't think I can buy... I gotta double check something. I'm pretty sure I didn't do my home instance. So we may have to do that really quick. The home instance is important to this for a few reasons. First of all, you need to continue to make your money. But second of all, there's bobbles here that are free. And you get 32 bobble bu Hello. bubbles a year if you do all 365 days of getting these. So let me double check. Pretty sure I forgot to do it last night. Because World vs. World went like... Four, three, three hours? Yeah, I didn't do my home instance. These baubles right here is the uh, node you can get. Get 24 baubles a day. Which is every 11 days is a bobble bubble. Something like that. 
11 days. It's more than 32? I keep thinking it's 32. Well, not a full 365, is it? We're spinning them right now. Um, I need to figure out that number. 21 times 11. 231 bobbles. Did we lose a bobble bubble? No, it's not 21 times. You just need to go 365 minus 21 times... Shit. Calculators are rough, man. Times 11. Divided by 250. 15? No, that's not math. That's not what it would be, right? Yeah, where's the 11 coming from? Who's mathing here? It's 365 minus... What is the 11? Hey, Gaka. <laughs> Happy Saturday to you. I'm just trying to do math. It's times 24 divided by 250 is 33 bobbles. Ish. Minus one, 32. Yes, I'm right. No, I, no, 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 it's 33. 33 ish. But 32 for sure. Sometimes, sometimes. You wake up and you're fully awake. Other days you can't do math. No, really, where'd the 11 come from? I feel like this was going on yesterday. My brain is just pulling random stuff out of the cachet here. Random stuff. Just said random words last night and freaking... I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, we're just doing the home instance because I forgot to do it. Um, I thought this is a good warm up. Just jumping right into Super Adventure Box. Never a good idea. Oh, it's good to run around, get your dailies done and stuff. Then go Super Adventure Boxing. Also, uh, you're going to see I lost a bit of lives, I think, three or four. That's because I was watching um, YouTube and Netflix while trying to do Super Adventure Box. Not the best idea. I mean, I have the infinite coin, so it's it's not <laughs> it's not a problem. It's just uh, not multitask for some reason. Super Adventure Box takes a little more focus when you move as fast as I do. Carrots. I haven't changed this over in a long time. Much crap in this home instance and I want more. Winter's Day gift. How many of those we have we have two? 105. It's been 105 days since Winter's Day. Still hitting volatile magic since watchworks brackets aren't worth much. Also spin probably they went back up to a silver and I sold them, but if they don't really go back up price, I might just use them at the next festival. It's the next festival. Dragon Bash, the festival after that. In August. Right before the next expansion. We should have one more major update for Soto in May. About a month from now. 31 days. I don't know if we'll have another Guild Wars 2 show until that major update. Um, but for sure... A major update for at least a day or two. We will be in Tears of the Kingdom 
More than likely. And we'll play through Final Fantasy X. And then we'll be going to another game. Which game? I don't know. I sort of decided, but I haven't. Hold on, everybody. I'm being bothered. There's a hole in my sock, and my pinky toe keeps going outside of it. You know what I'm talking about? It's distracting me. I didn't think it was going to distract me that much, but it's distracting. Everything. It was. Got the home instant or the uh, guild hall instance. Might as well go hit that. Knew my anvil. Boom. 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 Did finish all the vault specials except for the strike mission. I probably won't get that done. I have a fractal for this weekly. Um, I got 535 astral acclaim. I will probably... Start just buying these three things and that's just about it. I don't need transmutation charges of luck. Tier 5 materials, definitely don't need that. Obsidian shards, definitely don't need those. Yeah, I'm at 2180. Um, bags of gold for any overflow. Pretty much it. Now that those are at 35 plane tickets. Um, now I won't be able to get as much gold, but gold isn't really the issue at this point. For me, and then All mine. open up any of these bags. Unidentified stuff would go up there. Cool. Anything else? Threshold Five achieved. again? I have maxed out on milling stones, it looks like. Sell any junk. Worry about the milling stones later. I'll keep in my inventory to remember. Put those baubles in my bank since I can use them. Um, anywhere. I also have three super loot bags sitting in there. I need to go on my other character because I didn't do Super Adventure Box yesterday, so we can do it today. Home instance done. Back to Super Adventure Box. Now that we've wasted about 10 minutes on that, that's fine. My hands needed a uh, little bit of warm up there. And I can buy a couple continue coins. What else do I need? World 2, 3. I got a couple chances to make sure I get my dailies done. If I miss the ooze or something, which I won't, um, pretty much, I'm gonna run through each zone, we'll grab the ooze, deliver the ooze, 
and we'll pretty much run through everything. If I miss the ooze, I would get the shop in 203. I should just do the shop in 203, but I haven't done the ooze in so long. So, again, just to go over this again, we're going to go out. Again, we're just going to go over this again. I'm going to go over here and grab the key. Run ourselves all the way to the treasure chest. Hopefully, we can get the dodge jump today. Da -da 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 -da. Mega bombs now being free. I don't really have to worry about having bobbles anymore. It's also a five bobble. Not too hard to get. The goal here is just to collect a bunch of bobbles for some bobble bubbles. I got the extra five, nice. And from here, this tree, we're gonna try to dodge jump. Excellent. Dodging and jumping, you get a little bit of distance, and then we can grab this one. We grab our bomb here, mega bomb this open. Now, if you want to grab that five bobble that I pointed out before I ran up that hill, that's five extra bobbles that you can grab. It didn't take too long, it maybe an extra five seconds. Um, I just haven't been grabbing it, I don't know why. Cave above me there if you want to bomb that too, but on my bomb a little earlier there. Go into a bird's eye view here, just so we can grab one, five, and a one. Seven extra bobbles. I'm gonna attack the ground here with my upgraded weapon because I will get that. I'm gonna go ahead and go grab the glitch really quick. The reason why I'm gonna do that and not grab the ooze first is because once I get the ooze, it's gonna slow me down a little bit. Oh, there was two monkeys. Gonna get rid of the monkeys. Grab the stunned ooze, and then we'll start taking damage here. We're gonna be quick. Our first half part of damage. You cannot dodge while carrying the ooze. I always forget. For some reason, you get put into combat when you, um... When you get hit. Bit annoying. When we grab this, it'll make us immune to the damage from the ooze and these monkeys. We get our health back here. We grab swiftness. Instead of going for the bobbles, I'm gonna go ahead and head this way. Back to that guy's gonna give me 50 bobbles, and we get 51. I can go back and grab those three bobbles if I want, but since I get the 50, it's all good. I'm gonna get our health back, but since they sent us over here, I might as well show this cave too. In here, it's actually really fast. There's a tin bobble right there. We're gonna grab that. Any bonus chest, I'm gonna keep down in the corner. I saw a comment talking about that. I forgot about that on Tuesday too. We don't have to grab the bonus stuff immediately. So I don't have to leave. I may have to leave anyways because we're getting so many bobble bubbles. Well, bobbles. 
for the bobble bubbles. There we go. Um, I didn't grab every power up there, but you definitely can. I can grab that bobble. I'm just gonna run around this cage. I'm gonna start laughing. We're gonna knock him out of that laugh because he's not funny. And da -da 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 -da. Didn't know what he's doing is he's actually stealing the baubles from that chest. Power himself up. To grab both chests, couple bobble bubbles, couple continue coins. So we started with no bobbles coming in. We're at 187. That is World One Zone One. Glitch ooze. Where they nerfed the uh, digging up of bobbles. World one, zone two. Let's go. You can do this one just normally. You won't be taking the shortcut if you've seen me do this. Two fives, okay. They didn't nerf it. What? I love Super Adventure Box. Such a fun little thing in Guild Wars 2. Wars 2 isn't a very good platforming game, but I mean, it's done a pretty alright job. You're gonna see me just grab some extra baubles. It's fun. Pick up that chest for another 10. World 1 Zone 2 has a lot of chests to dig up. So 5, 10, 20, back to another 10. People get a key today. He did. Excellent. I could go the whole route here and go ahead and open up the bouncing mushroom, but I'm going to grab the chest first and then go grab the other stuff. Those free mega bombs right there. Quickly clear out the two monkeys. Queen B Dog. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was afraid of. Grab this 50 chest right here. Not gonna worry about that honeycomb. If you're with five people, the queen bee dog is pretty easy to take out. Other than that, you would lure her up here and then jump down, beat the crap out of that the honeycomb there. You don't have to kill her. Um, you can use mega bombs to do a lot of damage to her if you want. Just gonna work her way back up. If I got the bouncing mushroom, we could bounce back up. I'll just grab the shop stuff now. Okay think about it, but whatever. We're gonna get it done one way or another. Free 
chest for 40 baubles is fine with me. Now that I've gotten the key, killing the monkeys would be a waste of time. Now we just need to get through the zone. Twenty-five baubles right there. Spent a bobble getting it, but uh, this is where you would dig up an ooze and grab it for World One Zone Two. If you want to do that ooze, ah, uh, didn't get it. What is going on? Why is my character stuck in the ground? It happens sometimes. Your character just doesn't want to get up out of the ground. Well, at least mine doesn't. Other people are like, I don't have that issue. Like when you jump on the lily pads and they start damaging you. And I tell people like, yeah, sometimes you get damaged jumping on the lily pads because you're technically not on the lily pad. And then people are like, that's not true. That doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. Thanks. Also, bomb this crystal for this glitch because there's not a lot of time on those platforms. Why? I guess they wanted to troll you, because that's tradition or something. Garbage. Garbage nonsense. Couple shops along the way, too, if you need to get your, uh... Interior Design 102. I don't know how I got that, but I'll take it. Going to, uh... Ignore these monkeys. Hey, what's in that barrel? I I think it might be food? Not sure. We got a tin here, I got an extra bobble. Where the ooze farmer is, this is where you bring the ooze. Go all the way up top here. Grab another 20. Our first bunny. Their bombs back out. Bobble. Prepare ourselves for the mania of the cage. Gonna attack pretty much right away. I don't know why your character doesn't throw those bombs faster. Might as well throw all three down below, right? Remember, if the head turns, the attack is going to happen, so get out of the way. Even if you don't see an attack, it's happening. Got both chests. Furniture coins underneath. Land on that lock. That lock? That rock. And bomb the log. I can't talk. Wow. Free bobble. All right, next zone. We're still at 441 bobbles. I'm probably going to have to cash out anyways. That's what I'm going to have to do. Even, even if that suggestion is there, sometimes you just end up with so many bobbles, you might as well just go and collect what you have. So... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cash out because we're going to be getting a bunch of bottles in here. I want to make sure I'm able to hold them all. After World 3 today, that's not going to be a problem anymore because I'll be able to hold up to enough of them that uh, the overflow won't matter, even with the bonus chest. I don't think. 
for either world, but pretty much what I'm doing is what's called cashing out. Just gotta buy the bobble bubbles I can, continue coins, uh, and then go back into World 1 Zone 3. Um, every 25 continue coins is a bobble bubble. Right now, I'm at 500, 715 bobble bubbles. Um, weekly resets here in a couple days, so I'll be able to buy everything again. Just gonna pick World 1 Zone 3. It's a little bit of time out of your way or whatever, but it's just to make sure I don't get cut off of the bobbles that I'm getting. And it's also not that important. So whether you do it or not, it's up to you. Uh, but I just don't want to miss out on the bobble bubbles. But World 1 3, we're just going to be torching our way through using the candle. That's what they give you. Taking a left here. Environmental science in this one's pretty tough. I haven't found a way to get that Queen Bee Dog to just fit. <laughs> Funny way to say it, but that's what needs to happen. Pretty much we're just gonna go through the maze here. Frogs is trying to chase me, but no big deal. Queen Bee Dog's up there with the honeycomb, but we're not here for that. We're here for this. 20 to 50. Somehow did not, um... Uh... Whoa. Almost got in the middle of this one. Grab another tin bobbles there. Later on, I'll probably start skipping that tin bobble right there because of, um... Yeah, weird. The risk and reward... Depends on the daily, I guess. So pretty much um, what's happening here is we're just going to take the high side. We want to stay that way. Dodge through that monkey. Sometimes he runs a little earlier than that, but it looks like we are ahead of the server. It's great. I have to dodge through that monkey. I my buddy jump to the left there for that bobble. You can do that if you want, but... I don't know, it's one bobble and he might fall. There's the ooze for World 1 Zone 3. Take this mushroom, maybe, if it works. These mushrooms are terrible. One day they may get fixed, one day they may not. Sometimes there's two monkeys here, like now. Maybe. Pretty much we're going to get our bombs ready now that we got the upper part. We're going to grab some bobbles. We don't have to do this. The leaf falls. You too will fall with the leaf. Be careful. We're just going to jump and throw a bomb. Kill the toad. Mushroom will appear. We're going to fall all the way to the bottom. Get our health back if we need it. Grab 12 bobbles. On the way back up. I missed a chest in here last time. I'm not worried about chests in here unless it's a daily. Even then, I don't remember where they are. So you, you might want to wiki that or try to figure out yourself. The other suggestion on Tuesday's comment. About me not being good enough, but it's been a year, I can't remember everything. But pretty much what we're gonna do now is climb our way up these roots, fall. I'm just backing myself up into the wall, then making the jump. Still a bit of a butt clincher, but um, yeah. Sometimes these mushrooms grab you, like you see me falling into the mushroom. 
Uh, that will stop your momentum sometimes, so just be aware of that. These mushrooms are terrible. They need to be fixed somehow. Um, I don't know if Anet's capable of doing it. Like, in the sense of, you know, there's only so much you can do. But, yeah. Um, the crystal is down there, by the way. If you don't bomb that, you can jump down here. I can show you. And you can take those platforms up to the glitch. I just bomb it. It's easier that way, in my opinion. Also, if you find a key... Is it here? I don't freaking know. We'll leave the bunny. If you find a key, this is a chest right here. You can also open up. Um, what I do sometimes is kill this monkey with a bomb. Let's kill it normally, and it'll give me a key, and I just run back and open it. You can also kill those monkeys over there to try for it, too. Um, but other than that, getting a key up here would be a waste of time. If you're running with more people, you all need a key, so... Uh, yeah. We're just going to beat up the frog now. This toad, frog, whatever... Wants you to croak, but pretty much what we're gonna do is speed run this guy by picking up the jewel, throwing it in, in his mouth, breaking off another jewel shard, beating the crap out of him after the upgraded weapon. To grab that jewel shard, he's got a belly flop for the speed run. Remember, he will look where he's going, but once he starts pumping his belly, he's gonna turn his head and cough. Then we're gonna start beating him up. Another jewel shard. Sometimes you don't get it in two rounds, you just do a third, but this time it's really fast. Uh, not the hardest boss. Never was meant to be, I don't think, so. Glitch chest, normal chest, couple continue coins, couple bobble bubbles. We'll do the bonus game, we'll cash out, and then we'll do world two. Um, world one, very easy to do. Very easy to do. 20 minutes. Get a bunch of bobble bubbles. Get your draconic lodestones from the weekly vendor. That kind of stuff throughout the week. 13 gold apiece. 39 gold total. Um, you can get those glitch chests. can give you glitched weapons. Um, you can get super weapon boxes. You can get the Kaiser weapon boxes, uh, which give you really nice weapons. They sell from anywhere from 60 to 140 gold. Um, super adventure box is all about the skins and about the trading post. So, um, yeah, just fun times. Dun, 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 dun. So we're just gonna beat this up. Usually I get a few whacks and then I go pick up the bobbles. These bobbles will disappear, so be aware of that. bobbles you can potentially get out of this. Grab those bonus bobbles. We'll grab our bobble bubble and we'll just go back to the hub. We don't have to wait for the time, time out here. Um, so yeah. World 1. Easy. World 2. Luckily, World 2, we don't have to stop in between anything. You don't get enough bobbles unless you go out of your way to get them. Um, since I won't be doing that, we can just sell some of these continue coins. So bottom tab, gonna go up to 250. By that, still not enough. Cool. Another bobble bubble, four more, and in world two. Now world two actually can be faster than world one, depending on what the dailies are. These dailies not too bad to grab. I'll, I'll try to remember to grab interior design, but once I get going in world. World 2, Zone 3, I just go. 
World 2 Zone 1 is the longest zone out of all of them. Uh, World 1 Zone 2 can be pretty long, but there's a lot of skips. There is even the shortcut for that one. Um, this one, you have to sit through everything, practically. Uh, and it's it's quite the adventure, so that's why it's called Super Adventure Box. Grab Swiftness, get this checkpoint, and get the bounce. That's, that's not good. That's really not good. I just missed the jump. When I hit something and then stop hitting things, I get out of that combat speed. I don't know why that exists in Super Adventure Box. But sometimes I just go flying forward because I don't adjust the button press for the speed and I just miss the jump. That one, I think rocking back and forth before the jump has made that one a lot more successful than um, just trying it automatically. We're going to jump down here, we're going to grab that 50 bobbles and then we're going to take damage because more than likely... Uh, with our bombs here, we're going to get the health back by grabbing the swiftness. We're just going to run here. Don't care about those. Don't care about those. I'm going to throw a mega bomb right here. Kill two of them. Yeah, there's my health. There's five bobbles. And then three of them. Health. 10 bobbles, so 15 bobbles in our health back. And then if you haven't seen this, if you have the whip, you're gonna stun lock the assassins into place. I think that will be good enough. But now I don't have to fight them, I just have to hold the four button down. And we have to sit through this. So. This raft ride? I wish they would just take it out. I, I get the idea behind it. We're in the rapids. All that kind of stuff. Um, but a lot of people have trouble with this, so. I don't. As you can tell, even when I'm not doing this, I don't have much issue killing the assassins. It's just get knocked off the raft and things like that. Things happen. Die, things can happen. Like that went early this time. Sometimes like you go all the way to the bottom. Uh, I'm going to pull out my bombs here. We're just going to walk into the rapids. Gonna wait a moment here, and then we're just gonna throw a bomb into this alligator, jump on top. We're gonna hit this. You need to go visit that shot back there, it's just to the left. Bring our bombs back up. We're gonna bomb this toad. Gonna throw another bomb right here. It did not hit this turtle. This turtle can be out of range sometimes. My other super bomb didn't recharge. You're supposed to have three of them, but sometimes they're not recharging, so that's a bug. I'll probably fix that next year, but pretty much I'm... Well, I guess I did use the one on the alligator, but I don't know. I think the charge on those mega bombs a little slow. At the same time, I understand why. I don't know. I think spin the bottle. Kill the, kill the toad. It doesn't really matter because we can have mega bombs for when we get up to this next place. Not saving a ton of bottles. I think it's gonna it saves like seven or eight during the run. But I guess that adds up over time. Running it every day, 21 times eight. Nearly a bobble bubble. Pretty much we're gonna walk those rapids. Climb the cliff. You notice I'm sort of like jimmying my K 
camera to turn my character midair. Uh, it's a little bit of a skill that we're going to be using later today in World 3 Test Zone. Um, but it's to help turn your character in midair and that kind of stuff, so... Gonna hit that a second time. Oh, I did get the jump. Just that messed me up. Okay. Don't panic, Zork. Don't panic. No anxiety. There's the glitch. Just gotta dodge forward it twice. You may get knocked down again when you do that, but you should be okay. I'm just gonna use a mega bomb right here. Billy back there is really mad. There's the ooze you would need to take for World 2 Zone 1. Ugh. Completely unnecessary risk, but I took it anyways. You gotta catch these no matter what. Don't take that one. It's it's a it's a trap. Gonna wait for this log right here. We have plenty of time. Rana goes by. We jump, jump, jump. Ooh, that was not a good jump off that log. You take your ooze up this way. This is also where you get your boomerang. No, the ooze farmer's back that way. I keep forgetting. Um, I don't remember how to get up there right now. I missed that last time, too. Is it up this way? I think it is. You jump up here, take that, takes you across to the ooze farmer. So. Up there is the boomerang exchange. You want your whip back, which I suggest. I, I have not found a good use for the boomerang, but... Now we're at this boss. World 2 Zone 1, what a doozy. Pretty much, I'm just gonna run at this cage, swing in wildly, holding the one key down. If he does that, I don't have to do anything. Yeah. If he does a spin, I just dodge into the cage. Yeah, so this time, just not much effort at all. Grab our loot. There it is. We'll not be doing World 2 Zone 3's glitch. Um, it takes a bit of work for that one. It's not fast. It's hard to do daily and justify the amount of time spent. Need gold. It's better to go do practically anything else besides do it unless you really have it down. And then it just takes an extra maybe five minutes, six minutes, something like that. Um, some people do it every day. They just know World 2 Zone 3's normal route a bit better than I do at this point. Um, just the way it is. But World 2 Zone 2 is the easiest zone. To zoom out. Pretty much we're just going to be jumping through the trees here. Her bombs on. Ignoring everything. Keep moving. Most stuff can't hit you. I will throw a bomb right here. So kill that guy so he can't hit me if I he quickly throws twice. And we're gonna kill this one right here. Throwing a bomb into the ground. Dodge through that assassin. Stay on the green. Ever free one up. I'm no longer doing that jump over there. I die too much, so I just swing, kill this chest. Some of these assassins sometimes get a little antsy. Dodge. Um, it's a safe route. To kill this guy for any extra bobbles or health if I need it. We're gonna dodge. We're gonna dodge through that guy. And then here we simply just run in a circle. 
these assassins sometimes can run into you. Like that, it's just the way it is. But if I use this pillar as sort of like the stop gap, I can kill him pretty easily. And then we just need to put piranhas up here. We just stand still for a moment, then move not too far away. Got the extra one. Right here. Sometimes they uh they get overzealous. And then extra piranha after you. Jumping up here is pretty tough. If you fall, it is what it is. But uh No problem. I'm gonna bomb this. Didn't work this time. I don't know what's up with that. Got my health back. Right here, you can make this jump. I usually try to, to dodge jump it just for the extra chance, but you don't have to dodge jump it. You can make that jump without dodge jumping. I just don't know how to do it. I don't dodge jump. For some reason, I can't make the jump. <laughs> And then I start dodging and dying, and I'll lose a life, and then it'll be sad. Um, but yeah. Um, some people dig here and things like that. Just got to be um, understanding that if you dig up a bunny, you have to kill it, or it will kill you. These bobbles you can catch on the wings of the eagle if you want to dodge. Out and back in. Excuse me. Two bunnies. attention to wait until the eagle's done eagle's gonna drop us off right here again you may be tempted for that checkpoint but do not if you want the glitch gonna jump down to this cloud we're going to hit this we're gonna knock the bridge down over there and then we're gonna jump off the side we're gonna have to make some sacrifice to our health so hopefully you got some health back killing some things um gonna dodge forward here to avoid that assassin Jesus Christ, ain't it? They should not be able to damage you by running. <laughs> so dumb. Anyways, this is the furniture coin shop. Again, if you don't make it, you have to bounce up here and make this hard jump. You can make it normally. A dodge jump will give you a little extra, but sometimes it doesn't. So you just got to be careful. Crystals on this side. We're going to jump down. I just do that to land on the bottom. Then I'm just going to use a Mega Bomb. Boom, be done with it. Fall down. And then we're going to jump out here. I'm going to bomb ahead of me here because there's an explosive barrel. The bomb will blow up no matter what the distance is. And since it's a Mega Bomb, I don't think you can miss anymore. But I think that one you can jump and hit the bomb. This one right here, same thing. We're throwing a bomb. Boom. That one actually hits the barrel. That's why we don't see the big explosion and damages the barrel with the 50. So we're pretty much just jumping and moving here. Boom. I do not take the clouds until I'm done with those. Piranhas are unfun, but I'm actually going to run through them. Last year, I was taking the left side and would fall down. I don't know why the server gets so messed up on that left side. I don't know if it's like in between two sections that load differently or something like that. But taking the center seems to be the way. Um, if it doesn't work for you, then... I don't know. That's just the way this game is sometimes. But pretty much, we have... All the ice. We can jump right here, right to the bridge. Grab this. We're going up to the boss. 
same thing. Don't move left and right too much. We're going to be running into the cage right in this spot. Um, he doesn't spin. We're just going to dodge right into the cage. Not, he's going to knock you down a little spire. Just like that, we dodge. Usually you have a pretty big window. And if you were like me on Thursday night, you will die here because you won't be paying attention to him doing that. And he'll hit you twice or two or three times and then you'll die. I'm gonna gra grab the two chests. Then I'm actually gonna slide down, jump down here while we're waiting and dig up a 20 bobble. You can do this before the boss if you want, but uh, I'm just gonna grab those extra 20 bobbles. That's it. 21 bobbles. Take a drink of water really quick. All right, world two, zone three. World 2 Zone 3 is my favorite zone to run daily because it's fast and challenging all the same. We're gonna go down there, we're gonna grab that one bobble. We start out at 157 bobbles. We're gonna turn around, jump here, jump to the side. You can actually move your character left and right as you go straight. Put a strafe midair. Makes that jump really easy. Gonna get our bombs out. And this polar bear is an idiot, so I'm just gonna hit him twice with a mega bomb. Boom. Gave me health, which, you know. Whatever. But you can get an extra 10 bobbles from that guy now for free. You can also use Moto's finger if you have that. The daily is the interior designer. I'm gonna go in here and we're gonna break all the crap, grab some bobbles, why not? the camera up. The hitbox is off the ground. And that was adventuring, uh, or, uh, interior design 103. I can't remember if there's a place to bomb in here or something like that. I know this is where you can buy the, uh, torch. So, yeah. That's where you get that daily done. Spend a little extra time in that. Remember, do not jump down. You'll face plant, which will allow these bananas to sort of just ruin your life. You can also bomb those bananas if you want. I think I used to grab something back there, too, but I don't remember what that is. But I'll just keep on the fast pass. Swiftness is right there, but I'm not going to wait for it. Because it's actually probably going to mess me up on the timing. Because I'm going to dodge right into these barrels and do that, which will give me perfect timing just to continue. Fun little, fun little speed run strats. And we make the timing for this guy, which allows us to make the timing for this one. Just keep running forward, even if it pushes you straight back over. Jesus. We're gonna grab this bobble. This is where you get the ooze for World 2 Zone 3. Don't ask me where the ooze farmer is, because I can't remember right now. We're gonna go up. On Tuesday, I was a little confused about the, um platform up here and how to how you get to it and that's because when we were doing explorer mode when i was confused about it it's this this one right here this is the entry point and that was the exit point up there so i forgot to mention it when we came back through there it is pretty much ice you want to move and stop and put yourself in position plant there. There's no danger. The ice actually was not icing. I'm gonna let that guy push us. Jump into this one backwards so it'll take the portal faster more than likely. 
This guy doesn't matter. He's there too quickly. We're just going to torch that ice open. You can also use the flute if you have the song. We're going to wait. Ice will come back down. We'll open it back up. If you broke the ice, it won't matter. Guy's going to go blah, and then we're going to jump. Boom. Jump. That one's so instantaneous. At least for me. Uh, we're going to jump, jump, grab the bottle, bobble. I go ahead and open this just in case. This is a safety thing I do. You don't have to. You can go right into the portal, uh, that kind of thing. The reason why I do that is because sometimes this ice physics can grab you and throw you. Um, and while I'm here, we'll turn around. There's Gordon and the ooze farmer. I still don't remember where he is. So I apologize. But um, anyhow. We're going to be fighting the Yeti. At a perfect run once so far this year. Pretty much I'm going to jump up. Target that Yeti. We're going to see this snowball go. I'm going to go up and beat the crap out of him. I... Sort of dancing. Using the ice as a uh, way to kite the Yeti here. He's going to stop, and we're going to stop too and beat him up, and that's the Yeti. Boom. Perfect Yeti is what I call that. We're going to run forward here, and we're on to the Storm Wizard. Now, Storm Wizard does take a bit of time in the Toad, but pretty much, uh, you know, give and take. Gonna get up right in his face, and we're just gonna do that. Got a short path here. If I can bounce him like that, we get a little extra time to hit him. That was weird. No idea what just happened there, but that's the shit that you gotta expect in Super Adventure Box. Programming wasn't exactly the best. I mean, it's a video game inside of a video game. What is going on here? Where's his hitbox? He's definitely not on the wizard. No, get stuck, you moron. This is a terrible storm wizard. Something broke. I don't know what broke, but it broke. So we'll just take it nice and slow here. Yeah, you want him to get stuck on that. See, I got a bunch of extra damage here. He glitches out when he gets on that, so. Nice and easy. So. Glitching, I'll use the glitch against it. That's the that's what you have to do sometimes. But anyways, if you're just patient with that, you'll always beat it. This one, patience isn't always the virtue here. Um, so we're going to go into mania. I'm going to swing in a circle here. We're going to stay wide. You can actually see me hit things every once in a while. The lightning ball can't get me. I think it's funny. The lightning balls can chase you off onto the platform. But pretty much we're going to watch this dragon do that. Make sure you get out of middle already. And he's going to go down. You're going to see him disappear. We're going to wait a second or two. And then we're just going to jump to another platform. And it's that easy. A lot of people have a problem with that, but pretty much, don't panic. Gonna have to do two rounds of this. So we're gonna get him down about 17, 14%, sometimes 20%, since I didn't immediately start attacking here. But it'll always be under 50%, so as long as you get started uh, as soon as you can, you definitely should only have two rounds of this. Yeah, 20%. But no worries. Just gonna have to do the same thing again. Lightning balls on the platform up here. Start running in a circle and panic. I don't know if I'm 
hit me. So again, the dragon is going to go down. Get to see it disappear. Wait a second. Run over. Boom. Easy. Always make sure this lightning stops doing its effect. If the effect is going, it will damage you. So that's it. Dragon done. That's the daily run through that I do every day here in Super Adventure Box. Sometimes I will party up with a glitch person for World 2 Zone 3. I usually run it anyways um, because I love, love this zone. Um, some days the zone gives me problems, other days. It just depends on the day. We'll also get Adventuring 203. Um, but yeah, LFG sometimes will have a glitch chest open. You can join the person. Um, the person doing it usually gets a lot of bobbles with the robbers. So they want at least uh, two or three people to join to get the four robbers or more. I think it's four robbers. Um, which is a lot of extra bobbles, and then they can convert that to bobble bubbles. You'll GG right here when you see that, uh, and it'll make you spawn faster down here too. Um, so when you see people do that, it's just to get the robbers started as fast as possible to get as many bobbles as possible. I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna get bobbles one way or another here. Um, okay, they stole from me too. I'm not. I'm not too worried here. We're not min maxing. But you can pretty much treat them like a bull, too. Sometimes if you just go right through them, they can't steal from you. Anyways, I usually get about 80 to 100 extra bobbles here. Grab that bobble bubble, and that's it. I'm gonna go back to the lobby. Once you see that window pop up, you're done. Even leave the party if you, you were just partied up in an LFG. We're gonna cash out, grab all those extra bobbles. I think I need to buy five continued coins. But... I'm actually not going to buy the bobble bubbles because the next zone, well, let's do this. I will buy the bobble bubbles this time just to show you that and just sort of check out what we have here. I have 19 extra continue coins. That means tomorrow, uh, after I do this next part, we'd get some extra continue coins that would might be enough for another bobble bubble. Um, so, you know, 228 is where I'm sitting at. So we got an extra 14 bobble bubbles from World 2. Um, I get somewhere between, um, 28 to 36 bobble bubbles a day, depending on what's going on. If you do the math with that, um, I think it only costs like 180 bobble bubbles per week to get all the weekly stuff. So I'm still gaining bobble bubbles by doing what I just did every day during the festival. But doing that every day isn't really fun for a lot of people. So that did take me less than an hour, about 45 minutes, 50 minutes there. Um, it does wear on me a bit, so I start, I start skipping some things and stuff like that. But this year I'm projected to get the three stacks of Bobble Bubbles. Um, well, over three stacks, so we'll see how that plays out. But I don't, I don't know if I'm sure I'm going to have 750 by the end of this year. I could spend these on other things, earn more money, and that kind of stuff. Just give me a moment here to check out what this mail is. Oh. Like, what? It's being sent to me. Anyways, let me show you World 3, because I run this too. So, um, we're not going to check out the World 3 stuff r right away. Um, no big deal. The reason why I wanted to keep those bobbles is because of that over there, but uh, pretty much what I do is just start off like this. We're gonna go running. 
Gonna collect some bobbles along the way, but not a lot. We're also gonna be using a lot of bombs. Um, the fastest way to clear things. I will skip every spider by pretty much just cutting corners here. Um, I didn't grab that bobble because I went a little too high, but whatever. Um, but spiders and stuff, I will dodge and I will grab these campfires as checkpoints. Sadly, I feel like there's not enough of them. But this is where things start to get a little weird. So I'm gonna blow up that monkey. And this one. I'm gonna kill this monkey by hand. Blow up this one. Faster that way. We're gonna wait for this to fall down. And then we're gonna go ahead and start tapping the crystal. Jump across. And we're collecting some baubles. We won't collect a lot. Um, I don't remember where all the best bobble stuff is and things in this zone. But um, pretty much this zone, I just can't keep running. We got some snakes here. They're pretty easy to beat by hand, so I'm just gonna do that really quick. You can bomb these right here if you want to. If you're giving me trouble. And I'm pretty much going to save my bomb for this monkey right here. I'm just going to throw it at the wall. Goodbye, monkey. Um, gave me some health food. The zone sort of repeats here. We're just going up some weird-looking steps. But if I look down, see this rock up here. If it's there when you jump down, do not jump down. I suggest waiting. Because if you don't know that timer, you don't know it. I'm going to run from those monkeys. I'm going to throw a bomb right here. Kill that monkey. I didn't grab his bobble, but whatever. And we're just going to keep jumping. I did not remember how many enemies were in this zone. I'm going to throw a bomb into that monkey as well. Oh, they're, they're aggroing you early. I see what's happening. We can just jump there for that one. If you're running fast enough, you can actually um, have a little bit of hang time in the air. Which is nice for some of these jumps. Grab this bobble, why not? This ooze is going to appear. We're going to ignore the oozes. We're just running through the zone. I'm looking for that, that end, end zone chest. We're going to get some more oozes behind us. Um... Right there. Weird. I thought they appeared earlier for some reason, but I think I'm drunk. These spiders suck. Dodge into them the best you can. They just they just trigger early at this point in the zone. They've been loaded for a while, so they've done their little hitter scatter, and they will predict where you're running. I got through pretty good this time, but yeah. Grab that. We're gonna need it for this guy. But this end boss is the toughest one. It is zone... You know, World 3. If he does that, you can just run to the outside. I'm gonna run in a circle here. He does his diagonal one. I'm a little... ...worried I'm not in the right spot. Okay, oozes are gonna start spawning here. Let you know. Yeah, you got me. God, man, it's just like... You just do the circle one, or just the single one. Go to the outside. It's good, though. The difficulty is higher. It's just annoying. The oozes. Grab the chest. Grab the 50 baubles. Stay here at the end. If you leave... You won't get credit for the zone. <laughs> so, stay here at the end. Some people just go running off and then they don't get credit. And it's like, why didn't you stay at the end of the zone? But I'm pretty sure... 
There should be a message here that says, if you leave the area, you're not going to get credit. So that's it. That's World 3. I do that run every day. It's not too bad. Maybe 10 minutes max. Um, it's also weird because it kicks you out, right? Um... We got that but yeah so 68 extra bobbles what i would do then is um just get all my continue coins back i would buy a bobble bubble and then go ahead and buy any extra continue coins to empty out my bobbles and that would be it you know three more bobble bubbles for doing that so world three adding a little more overall it takes about anywhere from um 45 minutes to an hour to do all that every day uh, if you don't want to do that you can just do world one and that's fine and stuff like that just focus on the dailies whatever whatever you need um it's up to you i've only done nine dailies total and the rest have come from the super loot bags because the extracurricular activity um so luckily you only really have to do two dailies um, but every daily you do, you get two furniture coins. Um, I think it's every daily you do. Can't remember now. I haven't got the other one yet. Um, Crimson Assassin tokens, eight baubles, and a personal thanks from Moto. Um, I can't remember if that comes from the main one or not. It hasn't been nine days, right? So, whatever. But, uh... The dailies definitely give you 16 baubles. Then maybe that's what it is. But anyhow, yeah. Um, I'm not going after furniture coins, anything like that. Uh, the wiki is your best resource of doing this stuff. There's guides on there where to get all the baubles. There's uh, guides on there where all the secrets are to get the items, that kind of stuff. Uh, I believe there's the shortcuts to get the items and unlock things quickly. Uh, all that stuff is there. Now... There's new content. Maybe the wiki doesn't have all this, but I would be surprised if they haven't got it done at this point. I do know for a fact that I'm going to need, um, bobbles. So I'm going to go ahead and buy two bobble bubbles worth of bobbles. We're going to go back into world three and we're going to sort of explore a little bit. I need to kill a hundred oozes and things like that. And if you're like, how do you know these things, Zork? Well, well. You just wait. We have achievements. Um, where is it? This one right here. So ooze farmer under three. Defeat a hundred oozes. It'll give you a mini super green ooze. I swear we already had an ooze, but maybe not. Master of coins under three. Get a gold award in Gordon's time challenge. I have not found where Gordon is. Uh, purchase the bobble bubble bat pack. So we know that's there. Collect all the bags of Choya Seeds within World 3 Test Zone. So there's three of those to get. And then we need to purchase the Super Bow. As far as I know, it's all interconnected. So, um, we need to, we need to find things and that kind of stuff. Some of this stuff has stood out to me already. Um, just looking around and that kind of thing. Get up this way. I gotta remember how to do all this. Isn't that fun. Can you make that jump? This is all gonna be new to me. Just exploring it for the first time. Yeah, okay, I can make this jump. I will say the jumps in World 3 Test Zone are a lot more cryptic. I feel feel more like World 2 Zone 2's jumps. Oh, I didn't buy the thing I wanted to buy. Oh, you know. Blow it open! By the way, the blue ooze is fast and will damage you. But it's only worth one bobble? What's that about? Um, there's a chest here. Huh? 
Can I not get up there? Just this chest. Weird. Okay. No idea what he's saying. Alright, we need to buy this. Which gives me some seeds. I don't think are held anywhere. I found that cave. I'm like a chest in a secret cave. Okay, how do I unlock the chest? Can I go back in there and take a look at that? I believe the chest needs a key. That's not the one they're talking about. Sure, I need a key. Where are we gonna find the key? I'm just checking um, for other stuff while I'm here. I love how there's, like, dead miners here. See anything here? I didn't get the bobble again. I think I need to get all the bobbles. Three mega bombs. A key! An ooze. Not particularly tame. How much is a key? Three choya seeds. We only have one. 25 bobbles. Uh, excuse me, Anet. Why can I not destroy this? Alright, so that's how we get to the shop. I need bobbles. Aha! 
Aha. Oh, let's not make that. Bum, 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 bum. That is so stupid. Why are they turning towards me? Jesus Christ. Try to get that 25 bobbles. Oh, yeah. Ooh. More bobble. That bobble on that mushroom should not be sitting on the mushroom, by the way. Silly thing, ain't it, dude? Yeah, what are you gonna do now, spider? Who's the winner now? Pretty sure I have to go back through the water, right? No matter what, right? Ah, um, um. Oh, the pickaxe. That should have been the next weapon—a pickaxe. We have to get the flaming four chucks. At some point. Come on, we can do this. Still didn't get it. Yeah, they gotta they gotta fix that. That's annoying. That's why it's a test zone. Yeah, got a key. I don't know if we can get a key from an enemy, but. Jump that way? I'm not, I'm not trying it. I know this one works. Whoa! Um, don't panic. Don't panic me. Um. All right, we can fully go this way now. Cut up before. Dun 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 Alright, let's go get the chest. Keep thinking you can jump up there, but you can't. Bag of seeds. Okay, that's two out of three. So we did that. There's a book that cost three seeds, so we need one more seed for that. There's nothing else in there that I needed. There was an ooze sitting on the table, though. Wonder if that there's a reason to buy that. I would definitely need more um, bobbles, though. I think this will be my next checkpoint.
something different over here. Fun. Is there anything else over here? I don't think so. Those bobbles? Maybe? Back up we go. Gonna have to clear this out slowly. Great. Zan, hello, yeah. Super Adventure Box. Doing the World 3 stuff. want to do this or not? The answer is no. <laughs> Alright, we have enough bobbles now to go back and buy that slime, and I'm gonna do that. I don't know what the heck that is. Could be just a joke. We'll try one more time for this bobble. Just a cave so far. I have two seeds out of the three, and now I'm working my way up to the higher levels to find other things and kill some oozes. Let's see how much that bat pack is worth. Yeah, just sort of finding the stuff. Still didn't get it. You get a, a stunned ooze. farmer? Wait, there's no exit to that door. Weird. I bought it. 
I don't know if I have to take it somewhere or something. We'd have to find that. I think I remember how to get to that chest. I don't remember... Let me get up there. Yeah, but this... Yeah, I remember this now. Um... This is not the way. Why does the monkey get to turn and attack? Mid attack! Bunch of hurry up and wait. I think I think the programming's just loose. I think the AI has a little bit too much leeway. Programming hard. Being a dev hard. Making it better, too much money. Boss say no. Servers cost too much money. It's bullshit. Should be getting cheaper over time. Gonna go ahead and grab this up here so we don't have to run all the way back. I don't think there was anything back there. But if there was, you know, we can get back to it the hard way. But I'm pretty sure... Yeah. 
Oh yeah, I remember this. The uh the giant ain't at fuck you, I remember this. one is that? Jesus Christ! One of the jumps is the one that's, um, flying sack of shit. This one? Is that the jump? I think it was that one where it tries to bounce you out. Nope, it's this one. Shit. Do it all again. Yeah, I don't like this side of Ain't It. I don't like this overly punishing nonsense. Um, it's I get it's to make it challenging and stuff like that, but I think it's it's overly punishing to reset you. It's that Dark Souls mentality shit that devs really need to get out of their fucking head because it's not good. It's not good. Not It's not fun, is how I should say it. We're here to have fun. Super Adventure Box is a festival. Let's have fun. Um, I really want them to get rid of that. Like, this part right here is completely unnecessary. Like, the amount of people I, I think would need help with this is far too fucking high for a festival. Um, I, don't, I don't know why that mentality is there for devs. I don't know what crawled up their ass and when. So I need to go up. Okay. So it was definitely this one. Yeah, you gotta throw bombs there and... They're asking a lot. They're asking a lot. For a festival. Keep it make it part of trip mode. If they if they keep making this the world and things like that, I'm okay with it being like a fun exploring stuff and, and like some stuff being tough, but I'm not okay with like this. I think I I was saying the same thing last year. It's just a lot for the player. Um, but they, they're trying to deliver content because people who really love Super Adventure Box, like me, ask for content. But I, I don't know if this is the way um, to do it or whatever. I just feel like it's a lot of work. Um, yeah, this is fun. Whoever's at a quality assurance, can you please fire them? Jesus Christ, I don't know what they find to be fun, eating razor blades and fucking sucking on broken glass, but... God, can we just have fun? Can we just have fun? What is so hard about having fun? What, what happened? I don't remember which way I want to go first.
That's the chest, right? That just brings me back over. Remember, if I fall, I have to do all that again. And that's the thing. That's my problem. Having to run all the way back is exhausting. It's a waste of player's time. It is absolutely just... It's a garbage way to just develop. Bad mentors. Bad teachers. What the fuck is this? I'm gonna have to do it again. 750 baubles. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to do it again. Special pot. We're sure there's not something to do with these? Take the pot back and put an ooze into it? I have no idea, Minion. Is that the answer? Either way, I have to work my way all the way back to this point. So. Guess we'll leave. So what I have to do now is buy continue coins. And then bring in 754 baubles. Um, the piranha... There's something you do with it. I'm pretty sure. Um... Yeah, probably a secret achievement. Oh, why am I killing him? It doesn't matter. Like, bobbles don't matter. Yeah, I'm not sure. Might not be in yet. Maybe. This is a lot for a uh, test zone. My guess is we're never getting a world four. <laughs> this checkpoint really quick. It 
that's such a bad jump, too. I really do not like this shit. Like, why is it so... Why? Why? You know, like... <laughs> Why? It doesn't. It doesn't have to be that hard. They just made it that hard. Like, just let me get into the place. Why can't we just have fun? Why? Like, platforming sucks in Guild Wars 2, and they're like, they're like living off of it. Fuck you, you pieces of shit. No, I did not throw that twice. I have to wait. Midian with the spoilers. Um. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So it's like a, uh, it's like getting the dog. I mean, I can slash wiki all this. I mean, that's what I suggest everybody does. Why does that ooze just get to run into me? Why do they have so much health? Jesus Christ, who's the quality assurance team? Fucking get, find somebody else. Jesus. Do they have to be just like the most hardcore fucking players? I forgot that one goes away. Now we gotta do it again because you're frustrating me, ain't it? This is the goddamn gods just worst. It's the worst. Such shit. It's just garbage content. Like, I don't look forward to Super Adventure Box after this kind of shit. This is the stuff that makes me just want to quit the game and say, I've done enough. There's nothing left for me here. Hit 45,000 achievement points, go ahead and uninstall. Because the same shit, different day, it's not going to get better. The devs aren't learning. They don't really care about what the player thinks. It's not about the average status quo. It's just about them adding what they want to add now, what they think is cool. Great, y'all, we'll give some quality assurance stuff to make it seem like we care about the players. That's awesome, but what about the fun? Where's the fun? Where's the fun in this absolute garbage? Like, you spent time making this and somebody should have told you to stop. They should have said, less is more. I only have so much time during a festival anyways if I want to farm this shit. What are you doing? What the fuck a snake doing in this cave in the first place? I only get two? Wait. I tried to dodge that blue ooze off before and it didn't work. That time it looked like it worked, right? It didn't, it didn't, like it grabbed me. All right. Room despair complete. So we should hold up to 750 baubles, no problem. Why you need the max baubles to buy a backpack, I will never know. Continue on, I guess. Feet uses in a different secret cave. Okay. I'm gonna find a second secret cave.
Was this stuff even anything? Oh, you can do it from over there? Programming hard, yo! I didn't think walls were gonna be the problem. Found the cave. I was just trying to get away from the monkeys. You're not stuck on me, I'm stuck on you! I did it! Now we gotta go back to the water part. backwards from here. Is there a way to go back to the beginning? Wait, do you have to take that piranha through where I just went through to go back to the beginning? I don't think so. And the reason I don't, I do think some of this is old assets, but I still don't think so in the sense of the world being made. I do think an environmental artist did go through and make this. Um, I just think it was rushed at a, it feels rushed a little bit. I'm not going to say that it is rushed, but it definitely feels that way. Um, at times, not all the time. I thought my bombs were still out. Boom! I'm trying to think if you can go back. Now, I know the Midian. Midian, I know. But here's the problem. I need to get over there, right? But I don't think you can just go over there. I think you either have to work your way back up to the chest and back down, or get up there, which I don't remember how to do. Which is from the chest. Oh yeah, we missed that. I'm pretty sure... I don't know where the prana is. What are you talking about? That rock won't send you anywhere. This one? Like, there's nowhere to go from there. Is that the one you're talking about? <laughs> There's nothing else. 
Unless that switch made a rock pop up over here, too, which would be great, because that'd be an amazing shortcut. Can you dodge with the piranha? You don't drop the Prano when you dodge? No? Anyways, I don't care. I'm gonna go get the book. You're getting ahead of me. Too many spoilers. Minion should know better. She's a mod. Let me just do it. Why can't people just let me play video games? What happened? What happened? I didn't, not even my friends let me play video games anymore. I have to be careful. Oh, I'm gonna play this game. Oh man, don't forget to do this. Like, what? 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 <gasps> there was another bobble up there. How do you get to that one? No, we got that one. Because you come over from that side. There. Right? Let me do it! Jesus Christ! I said we're exploring this! I'm having fun! No fun video games anymore! What happened? What happened to you all? Fuck you, Nintendo! Nintendo's my childhood. Yeah, but they're definitely not your adulthood, because they hate you. I thought we were supposed to have a complete underwater area, though. What happened to those assets? What happened to the seaweed and stuff? Wasn't there seaweed? How do you get that bobble? Can you get that bobble? Okay. I can now... Understand Choyas. Will allow me to what? to this guy, right? This minor... What in the cheating bullshit was that? This one. Just missing. They don't tell me anything. That I already don't know. Did we talk to him last year? Some of them don't even talk to me. What kind of an ability is this? Go get the bow. At least in Stardew Valley, when you learn dwarf-ish.
And we gotta kill a hundred oozes. Ugh. You can do it, Zork. I also hold a crap ton of bobbles. Iron's a tough gig. Gotta find crystals for the tithe. Getting very impatient. I'm tired of waiting. Somebody once said that's like old, old school mechanics. That's how it worked in other video games. Other video games later also changed to when you hit it, it would trigger the pattern. But you didn't have to wait for the RNG. For the pattern to fit from when you hit the switch. I mean, you're right, but at the same time, doesn't mean it's fun! Yeah, I mean, the AI now tracks how to hit you. I mean, what old school nonsense is that? Oh, it isn't. It's new school. Because, you know. We can't have fun here, is my point. No fun, Anet. Yeah, I can talk to that one. Why? 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 How are you not dead? This one say. So these were supposed to be here last year? So again, as a veteran, we get fucked because we played it first. Shops, though. Didn't think about that. How you supposed to do that? Going up! Nothing here.
Who's this can't climb? Okay, I missed the second time. What is that? How did it aim me? I hate this music before it's over. All right, let's take a quick break. It's time to get up, stretch, use the restroom. We've been going for a couple hours, so it'll be a good time to let my hands rest up a little bit here. Um, then we're going to go searching for the next store, find the bow. I don't know what Master of Coins is yet, but we'll figure that out. Um, ooze Farmer under three. Are we the ooze farmer? Do you just get oozes? There's got to be something with those other shops, though. I can't imagine the end one being the prana back into the water without the oozes being something else, either. Maybe you take that ooze to the end. You take the pot back to the potion, dude? Maybe it's a lot of that, and people don't know. Or it's just not implemented. Uh, either way, uh... Pfft. Hit the like button. You enjoy this. I will be back very shortly. Here be.
Alright, I'm back. Uh, that might work because the ooze lunges on you. Yeah, you can dodge the ooze off of the, um... I don't know. It all has to be interconnected. Maybe it's not all there. Anyhow, what am I doing now? Gotta beat these oozes up. Was there dig spots in here? Is there a way to get in? I thought that was the way over to the other side. Dee Dee, thank you for the five gifted memberships. I appreciate that. Dee Dee, another mod in my chat today. Guild Wars 2 brings out all the mods. Dun, 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 dun. Make sure you have uh, gifting turned on, everyone. I might bring us to 23 memberships, which means more emotes. DD, gifting emotes. Or at least one emote. Wait, 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 wait. So like this? Nope. No, it wasn't. Wow, we have to go all the way back. I don't remember. Is it through there? I feel like you could jump over the thing last year, but maybe I'm just misremembering. Because we've had a lot of that happening. Huh. DD. Oh, DD becoming a member as well, getting cubed. DD, I appreciate that. <laughs> You did not have the gifts on? Were you trying to were you trying to get were you trying to gift this four and get one for yourself? Da, da, da. I appreciate it. Whatever you're trying to do, I appreciate it. <laughs> there must be a different intended way. He's like, what is this? Who's this Dee Dee? Booty. Dun, 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 dun. 
It is canon that the salt cubes have booties on the backside. Was it here? No, I tried. Super bow completed. Nice. Nice. It has charges. Oh, but the slingshot is still there. Wait, what do you say? the magic bow. Hmm. It should always be random. Like when a beer tastes really good. I got a like because Didi gifted memberships. Didi, do it again. No, I'm just kidding. No, what is that emote? That's a cat in a box? Okay. So we have to kill 53 oozes, everyone, and we have to, uh. Gordon's time challenge. Now we gotta take this back, too. Let's do it! I guess dodging doesn't drop it. I can just drop it and pick it back up. Neato. Well, do it. I don't remember how long you can hold on to the piranha. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, that's, uh... Not as easy as, um... One might think. The timing has to be pretty good. and release you get a bobble bubble for it okay I've not been to this world this is the yeah, the world 3 test zone I think the like was first Power. No 
only get a gifted membership if you like. The more you like, the better it is. Ooh, that would be a good way to do it. I can't support... Cannot support this content creator except by doing the free things. So when the not free things come... I, that bobble is not real, man! Wait a second. What am I doing? <laughs> you can still buy another one. Wonder if there's a cat somewhere. So where is Gordon the Choya? Wonder what the fastest ooze farm is. Why is it a hundred? Yeah, you're supposed to get over there somehow? Get through this? Is this bugged now? Why am I not able to do this? How's my coconut? Okay, that didn't sound right, but I had to ask. Go up and around? I don't know if you've noticed. But I tried that. I have to jump off over here. Is this the spot? Nope. Is that the spot? Okay, I see the spider. Mm. You pineapple? I thought you could go through here. I guess maybe that was unintentional. I don't know the real way to do this. Midian, you are not, there's, I have a brain that don't fucking function with chat. 
Stop, jump down. You're, I don't know how long your delay is either. Can't you, I don't think you can make this jump anymore, right? Feels like there's a wall. Yeah, they put a wall there. I know you're trying, but I'm telling you, it's like, it's, fut it's futile trying because, uh, the delay. And I, ha I still have no, back to the second bridge, you, you can if you make it over. I have no idea what any of that means. Wh which one do you consider the second bridge? This one? Or this one? <laughs> What, what's the second bridge? This would be the second one from the campfire. From what I can see, I need to get on this, right? This one, because I see the bobble. I used to jump over the top here, jump down. I don't know what the real way is. And I can't go around this way, right? This killed me. Make it to the landing? I have no idea what you're talking about. But, is, but, 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 stop it. Don't tell me. No, don't need a party invite. Stop it. Stop it. This is my point, though. This is exactly it. Don't fucking invite me to your group. I don't need your help. All right, I can go slash wiki this shit. All right, I know you've done it. Great job. I love you. Stop. My point is, it shouldn't be like this. I should not be guessing. At this point, I should not be guessing where to get over there. Not a bit. That is my point. I shouldn't be looking around going, can I make that jump? There's just no need. Yeah, you definitely can't do this either. Because earlier, it just immediately killed me, yeah. But what, what you're failing to understand is I don't need help. The game should be helping me. But like, this is exactly why I don't play Guild Wars 2 anymore. This is exactly it. Anet is trying to be cryptic. It's a stupid fucking way to create shit. I'm tired of devs doing it. My brain power needs to be used on real world shit. I need to, uh, I need to program shit. I need to figure out how shit works, right? In the real world. When I play your fucking video game, it should be fun. And all this world three is, is just the, just a convoluted mess. It is absolutely just a bunch of straight lines all over the fucking place. And you know, can you figure out how to get to the different, different level here? This is just another Tangled Depths at the end of the day that you have to learn the ins and out. Where's the fucking tunnel taking you and that kind of stuff. I do not need help. Midian, stop, stop, stop. I'm looking around. I don't see the answer. I don't care for the answer. All right. Because this is why I wanted to stream it. Last year, these problems were there. This year, they didn't fix any of it, which means they're just gonna keep going down that same route. I don't like World 3. It's not hard. I just don't understand if they're aiming for a jumping puzzle or they're aiming to continue what was there. But I don't think Super Adventure Box can be salvaged from what it is. When World 1 came out, it was beloved because it was fun, simple, just enjoyable content. When World 2 came out, it was destroyed. They destroyed it. Difficulty spikes, one-shot kills, unfair play, lots of platforming, lots of platforming, lots of platforming, right? And then they had to come back and they had to shorten all that up, right? Which allows us to run it every day without wasting three hours of our life, right? But since then, without redoing World 2 completely, which they would never do in an MMO, right? This isn't a beta game. This isn't early access. In an MMO, once they send it out, it's out there. Rarely do they get rid of content because they spent money on it. 
content's there for people to try or not, right? World 3 Test Zone, what I thought it was last year was just an introduction to what they're thinking. This year, they just took the same shit, they put more shit on top of it, it's not going to get better, it's just going to be more of it. And that is the biggest problem, that is Anet's actual weakness. Just adding content means nothing. That was the problem with Soto. We're getting content in these major updates. But what is it really? What is it really? If Anet wants to continue this path, that's great. But I just don't see a future of just retaining old veterans. Anybody who's playing this game for five, six years, they're pretty much done. And... The only thing they would shoot for is the fashion wars and that kind of stuff, right? A new player coming into this this year, they have all this stuff available from the get-go, right? They have all this stuff available. Um, so now talking to the Choya gives them the hint on how to beat the thing. Last year, I had to slash wiki the stuff. Somebody figured it out somewhere. I don't remember if you could talk to the Choyas or anything last year. I don't. Um... I remember having to ask, how do I get to that chest and things like that to other people? And they go, I don't know. I haven't found it yet. Right? Day day two. Then you slash wiki. There's no information on the wiki three days into the festival. And this year, it's quite the opposite. I think everything was up on the wiki almost day one. Right? Even the secret stuff. Data my like the data miners are gonna find the rest of it because I think that's the reason they knew there was something else there last year was only because the data miners pulled it out. And I don't get this design. The jumps are hard, it's not really fun, the enemies are just they're just aggressive. I get it's supposed to be level three out of four, but like I can't imagine a world four. I can't even imagine two more zones of this. It's just World 2 all over again. that That's my problem. I shouldn't have chat trying to help me because I look like a helpless old man, okay? I'm a, I'm a fucking 12-year veteran in the game. Like, Jesus Christ, people. Just understand, like... I wrote the book on some of this shit. Like... It's insane to to think I've been here from the beginning and I'm still struggling with a fucking game in a festival. That's my point. Like, I don't need it spelt out to me, but at the same time, like, some of these jumps just don't look doable. They just don't look doable because they're such... It is a full jump. And if this was like Mario or something, you wouldn't even see the jump on the other side. That's how big comparatively to other platformers it is. Like, the jump looks unmakeable in this game because it's not a platformer, it's an MMO. They've done well with the platforming, but stop! Let us fight stuff now. We got all these upgrades, what are we doing with them? Now you're gonna turn up the health on all these enemies, okay. It's not to say that everything's been bad. I mean, the mega bombs being put on an ammo recharge so I don't have to waste five bobbles at a time. That's pretty cool. But at the same time, when I run out of mega bombs, they're out. I sort of wish you run out of ammo, then start using your bobbles. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But this doesn't, this doesn't continue any fun, as far as I could tell. And also, we have some grind, right? Kill 100 oozes. Like, what is that? What year is this? Are we still in the 2000s and 2010s? Are we still looking for collectibles? Didn't we already get a ooze? I swear we already got a ooze. Is there another ooze in here? Somebody knows. Generation 1 chest. It's the blue bobble. Ah. What do I get? Five more achievement points. My point is... At the end of the day... I don't care about achievement points for the festival anymore. What I care about is that the content is meaningful 
for the people's time who still do the festival and for newer players who still have things to do that the newer content isn't going to stretch this out for like 30 years. Like accomplishing this game should be a 10 year ordeal max. And I still think even that's stretching it. MMOs are not the future. Every company out there wants them to be, but that's why they have these single player, like these AAA studios are gonna have it like online type stuff uh, for a lot of things because it makes them money, but they don't have to pay for the MMO side of things, if you know what I mean. So they can have this time, develop the game and just microtransaction your ass until you, you're too stupid to understand it's a single player game. Stop buying microtransactions. Stop buying DLC. Especially if it's like 40, 30, 40 dollars. Stop doing that. Jesus Christ. They don't need another 30, 40 dollars. Like, the Pokemon DLC, just seeing that is so predatory. Like, I could not believe that they can't give us a full Pokemon game and the bonus content after. And they're making so much money off of just a bad product anyways. Like, but this is the day and age we live in. Is this really, is this really it? Is the industry in trouble? Yeah. Uh, is it gonna get better? No. It's just the way it is. And Anet's not immune. But this is what this is what the devs are now. I don't know what to say to ever change a dev's mind because it's so ingrained to do it this way. Like, I guess we have to suffer to enjoy. And I think that's absolutely bullshit. But none of this was hard. It's just tedious, long, and not fun. That's it. I'd say the difficulty probably max a 7 out of 10. I don't know what this last part is. Probably the most difficult part, but probably a 7 out of 10. But boy, is it grindy. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Why can't I just run back through your level? There I second bridge. Fix any of it, just put more achievements to make you do it all over again, which is frustrating. A bunnado is fun. Are there any ready original super adventure box developers? I think most of it was Josh Foreman, right? What are you, what are you guys talking about? This one? So it's not the second bridge, it's the third bridge. Why does it <laughs> I don't like the I don't like the design of this rock. These rocks, I don't like them. There's some value. It's just off. help Midian out in chat. I don't know if Midian can hear me. <laughs> and why have this here? Fucking asshole was this? Yeah, 
man. You gotta do it all over again. God, man. I will never forgive Dark Souls for existing. I will never forgive them. I don't even know if I was supposed to jump to that one. I don't know. The jumps are so fucking radical. They're just so, like, demanding from the player. Please, just, just let me, just let me have it. No indication there. Figure it out. And then people are like, why do developers put these yellow paint everywhere you're supposed to jump? We have to go all the way up. Here we go. Do it now. Am I supposed to jump over to this one? Not yet. This. Nope, not yet. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Oh, we're trying to find Gordon. That's right. Had to min max all these jumps. There are oozes over here. Oh, yeah, it's this place. No checkpoint, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. Sure. Two minutes. Let's do it. fell. Cool. But you'll eventually die, right? I don't think I'll care for Super Adventure Box next year. <laughs> I gotta remind myself to come back and watch the VOD. It, like... Yep. Just gotta get caught up on something, hit your head on something. It's designed by absolute imbeciles. I don't understand why they would make it this way. Jesus fucking Christ. No way this came out of somebody's brain and they thought, that's okay. No way Quality Assurance tested this. No fucking way, dude. Just no way that there's a Quality Assurance team at ArenaNet. When people are like, man, I'm pretty sure their Quality Assurance is outsourced. I'm like, no, no way, man. Nobody would do that. That would be silly. But then I play this and I go... Well, maybe. And I don't want to think that. Just at this point, oh, there's enemies. Like, okay, but here's my thing. Why is this like this now? After all those little tough jumps like over there. Like, what's up with that? Like, this shit is easy. You know what I mean? It's 
71st. Boots 23. 49 seconds, my ass. Um, you can't open these, right? No! Ain't it, you fucking assholes! They have Q&As at the players? Putting the red bobble chest. Oh, that's true. Since you can reset, I guess this is a checkpoint in a way. But just make sure you grab that red chest. Faster. Gotta make those short jumps. That's the hardest one, right there. You can get that one, you can get all of them. I... How am I doing that? How in the fucking programming does that exist that way? First of all, also if you fall, it should just reset you automatically. That's what it, like... Who came up with this and who are they? Do they just play Mario Maker 2 all day? Please, please. Music is different every time, which is pretty cool, though. I hit jump and nothing happened, and so I tapped it again, but I was already doing the motions for the, uh, moving back around the pillar. What's that sound? Like a rooster? Twenty ninth. We're in sixty third overall. Under a minute? What are they? Monsters? We're still missing a chest, right? One, two, three. Oh, we didn't beat the zone. We got left killing oozes. Hundred sixty third. I happy with the hundred and sixty third. Where, where's everybody else on this list? Only show me the top thousand. Two. 
This is this is uh, World of Enders. Boots. Higher 14 seconds faster than me. And I sub a minute. 59 seconds is the cutoff for top 100. And I shave four seconds. No, I need more than that. Four and a half. In top 100. Pretend I'm great at the game. How far do I got here? Oh. Okay, my camera didn't work. That sucked. Damn it! This game is garbage. Why are we here? make that second pillar. Yeah, I don't think you can make... God damn it. Fucking idiots who made that. God. There didn't even need... There was no need for that top one where those two were jutted out. Whoever did that, you're terrible at design. I hope you bump your fucking head today on a fucking rooster. I don't know why the rooster's there. You bumping your head on it. It's not my problem, it's yours now. I cursed you. You can do this. This is not the music to get you motivated. This is not the music. God, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's like the power glove all over again. Wonder if you just don't have to get that close. Oh, come on. What the fuck was that? I didn't even do that! The game just didn't let me jump off! It was like, nope! Nope, this pillar is twice as big this time! Fuck, it's just absolute garbage. Bad programming saved me, but it's still costly. That's where all your time is lost. You can get that part down, boom. Number one. Also, you just hack it, I guess. You really just want to, <laughs> really don't want to do it. Did you see it? I was stuck in the pillar and it confused me. I don't know if that's lag or something. I, I'm serious, go back and watch. Like I go into the pillar. That's sticking out. Yeah, that shit just happens to me. I can't explain it to you. Shit is programmed by absolute just unevolved monkeys. I can't imagine like this getting through testing without somebody going, that doesn't look right. It's gonna mess up the player. But I, I don't, I don't understand i don't know uh, i don't know how, what to tell them like this optional content can i really be this mad yes should i be probably not Whoa. pixels pixel zork oh i was about to do it again hit my head ah, i hate that part it's such terrible design there not meant to be raced on.
this song from? The cave? Don't do it! No, man, it's not fast enough! Don't worry, I'm losing my time. An entire, entire half second. 116? 116? I'm falling off the horse. I'm a has been. I'm a loser. There are no champions. There's only sadness. Corruption. There are no heroes. They've all died. Alright, let's beat the zone. I'm gonna see if these oozes count. Overall, just a 7 out of 10 difficulty with I would mean, give it a 6 out of 10 content wise. If I didn't do the content last year, I'd feel like there was actual content here. Seriously? That hit me? I don't think they count. No, they don't count. Because they these oozes die in two hits. Weak. They still do as much damage to you as possible. Wait, can I get this guy to just always do that? Yes! What? What? But those oozes don't count. Well, we did it, everyone. Can we get some GG's in chat? Oh, wait, we're not done. Wait, we're not done. No GG's in chat, what are you doing? How long have we been going? Three hours? This is sad, you know? I can't even blame Anet. I want to blame Anet, but I can't. Let's just be honest. I can't blame the design or anything. This is just, just where we're at. It's the way it is now. You know? Can't have nice things. Can't have nice things. Zero nice things. Equals zero. There we go. <laughs> Where's the next oozes? So there was three oozes there. Count them up. Started at 47. The next group of oozes is... Where? Fall for it this time. Dumb monkey. Did I already miss the news? Long. One of those achievements I guess I could do over time since I'm running through here every day.
Did I cancel the bomb I threw? Isn't that what I just heard? Where I heard it go two. That's really disappointed there wasn't a secret cave here. One day. Can't hurt me if they're avoiding damage. Here's some oozes. Why does this say 52% when it's 53 out of 100? Ain't it, you have, like, somebody here has one job and it's too much for them. Who's this? Who's this? I'm so aggressive. <laughs> so that's eleven. That's it? Just 11 oozes? Missed 8. Only 19 per run? Do the extra stuff? What? What is this? So you get 11 on a normal run? That's it? <laughs> what is this grind nonsense? Oh my god. And it's it's the longest achievement, I think, is going to be the worth only three in a mini. I swear we already have. I swear we already have it. What is this? What is this? What are you loading? There ain't nothing here. Yeah, mini super ooze. And this one is a mini super green ooze. Yeah, we discovered that. Do it. What can we look like? 
Oh, I can't preview that. Come on, we'll never know. This year we got shoulders. I think that's it, everyone. <laughs> I think that's enough Super Adventure Boxing. Um, oh, until later tonight when I have to do it again. So I think I'll just kill 11 oozes every run. It'll take me four more, four more resets. That's 44. So I'll just have to kill. <laughs> I mean, uh, is it faster just... I'm laughing because it's such a dumb, such a dumb number. Why is it 100 and not like 64 or something? Like, I don't think the number mattered. Because these oozes right here... Right, one, two, three, leave. Right? One, two, three, leave. And then... <laughs> maybe with the loading screen, maybe not so much. No, it's... No, I didn't even click closed. Well, even with the mistake, it's... This is the worst bobble farm I think I've ever done. All right, there's three. That's six. Leave. Look at a loading screen that's going to take about 10 seconds here. Go forward, come back, enter. Look, going back in is so much more quick, faster. So much more fast. What? Huh? Much faster. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. For some reason, I thought that was the wrong part. <laughs> the much... No blue ooze here, so you can't get four. I mean, that would be the way to do it if you have fast loading times. The other thing I didn't think about here was this. But I don't think, no, there was no oozes here, right? here. That's nah, just spiders, right? Uh, you can buy an ooze, but... God, I love Stardew Valley. Oh yeah, Stardew Valley, much chiller, a much better time. Stardew Valley 1.6 is amazing. Tell her thank you. For doing it. Gotta go. Why am I making that jump the way I'm making that jump before? Oh yeah, everyone here should check out the Stardew Valley.
Right? We got this ooze. Okay, the question is, where was the other shop? I don't remember where the other shop was. If I buy the ooze, can I get the ooze somewhere? I have an idea. Slash wiki, what did I miss? What did I miss? Nothing. Nothing. Just kill a hundred oozes. The oozes at the cage do not count. Why? So silly. But yeah, going in, killing the three, then coming back out, probably the best way to do it. How many continue coins do I have? Five? Not even enough for, um... Bobble Bubble. That's because I spent the 25. Okay, whatever. Spent some Bobble Bubbles. We gained one back. We're still at 231. No, we're not. We're at 227. Weekly resets after... So we have tonight, we have tomorrow night, and then Monday night it resets. So, a couple more nights. I didn't buy the transmutation charges, so there's three, there's 12 bobble bubbles I'm not spending. I don't need transmutation charges. Speaking of such, um, the gym store has five free ones. Yeah, you because know, you can inspect people's cosmetics. Let's talk about that really quick. Um, there has been uh, controversy, but it's not really controversy. Inspecting cosmetics, expecting, inspecting the skins of another person, you know, uh, things earned cosmetically, whether through microtransaction or otherwise, the assets in the game, um, has been in other MMOs, other games... Um, that are MMO-like for a long time. We're talking 20 years, I think, almost. They've existed. Um, if not longer. Right? And Anet is finally introducing such an old-school mechanic that people have been demanding on the forums at one point. Uh, and just sort of like comparing Guild Wars 2 to those other MMOs and the lack of... That was one of the things it was lacking. So Anet finally gave us this, this, what they call quality of life, which I think is just a standard MMO thing, right? Um, but in that action, people went to the forums and they were upset about it. And what they were upset about is that they were scared or, uh, I don't know, they felt violated in a sense that people would see their fashion and be able to copy it. In all the years, I think it's like been 14 years in WoW, at least. Um, in all those years, in the other games that that is possible, have people done it? Sure. But it's a thing people do. You got your Guild Wars 2 slugs all the time. They copy your guild, your, your guild name and guild tag. Um, they, they harass you in different ways. They start copying your fashion. They've always always had that choice in the first place. And in fact, we've already seen it. There's been instances of that happening long before you can inspect cosmetics. Again, people could go to Reddit with a picture of a character and ask what are they wearing, and a lot of people could tell you. In fact, I think there's gonna be an AI thing soon that will help adjust all of that kind of stuff and things. Um, 
that will no longer be necessary because we have inspect cosmetics right but it does other things so maybe not so much um because anet still has to say where it came from and how to get it and that stuff's going to make it easier to understand you can already already do it for the wardrobe unlocks and that kind of thing too the the thing is with the end game of guild wars 2 being mostly cosmetics i mean super adventure box is mostly cosmetics and that kind of stuff um the biggest the biggest thing that came out of it was how people reacted to the reactions. And I'm not going to say that the people giving their reasoning and what they felt was a valid reason in their mind of complaining about a feature that it's in almost all the other MMOs as far as I know. Um, and just really doesn't matter at the end of the day because people are going to be bad actors or whatever anyways. Again, Guild Wars 2 Slug's always there. Even if they came out and complained about that stuff, what I saw was for every complaint, there was five reactions to it about how that person shouldn't have that criticism of that feature. And that's fine when it's constructive, which only maybe one or two of the comments were. The other ones were calling people uh, immature babies. They were whining, right? that whine oh you're just whining about it um but reading through some of the stuff it gave me a different perspective on how people think about features in the game and i thought it was actually a good thing for the devs to be able to read and understand for future uh things now do i think you should have an opt-in opt-out button no if they put one in will i care no i won't um it's just one of it's just one of those things. You can block me too, and I can't whisper you, and it's just like that's the way it is. You opt out of the conversation from me. Right? But I won't know that until I try to whisper you. Whatever reason you blocked me, you blocked me, right? Um, so doing the same thing with fashion, sure. I mean, I, I can agree with some of that too. If you block someone, they should not be able to inspect your cosmetics. Um, it's just another way they can harass you in the public facing form of the MMO as a whole. Because you got to remember that Guild Wars 2 as an MMO is a public game. All walks of life come here. It's like stepping outside and having your conversation on the phone outside. It's not the fact that people want to listen to you, it's that they can, right? If they come into your house to listen to you or get close to your house to do it, then we have problems. And then that's different, that's different levels of things, right? Same thing, people can't come up and touch you without your permission. I understand that, but people can look at you. It's not against any laws as far as I know, uh, besides maybe some of those lower countries that are like, you know, they think you just have demons inside of you or whatever, right? My point is, consent in whether it would be an opt-in, opt-out feature or whatever, fine. But consent is a line that needs to be in more critical areas of life than a video game. And, and seeing that kind of stuff, I, I don't agree with it, but I didn't disagree with it either. Because... I don't think it really affects it one way or the other because we didn't have the feature. We have it now. If people don't want the feature, that's their prerogative in my opinion. I'll use it. I've been using it. I stopped using it. Why? Because it pisses me off to see everybody look better than me. I hate it. I hate it. So every time like, I click on someone and inspect them, like that guy that has his, obviously, the Winter's Day stuff on, uh, screw that guy, okay? In all seriousness, when I read through the comments, it was the reactions to the supposed whining that really pissed me off. And yeah, I was enjoying the memes. I said I was part of the problem. The memes sort of put gasoline on the fire. I think other content creators felt the same way as me. They just didn't really care. They thought it was a feature from other things. They've seen it before. And they just thought the memes were funny because that's what it is. It's different perspectives, different experiences, right? We aren't you, so therefore your experience will fall flat for us. But the meme is funny because that's what we think. But at the same time, I had to halt because not only did they have to close down the pinned thread, 
They had to unpin it, unfeature it, and they had to pull it practically from the entire forums because people were just absolutely brutal with what they thought these other people are. Through whether talking about whether they're autistic or not, whether they have brain cells or not, whether they deserve to be in the game or not, whether they uh, are just human beings at all. That's insane. It's a video game. You know what you could have done? Just ignored them. But you had to go out of your way to harass people to the point where they had to delete accounts off of other social media to get away from you. The same thing happened to me on Twitter. I know it's a bandwagon and a pylon. I know what it is. Yes, was I someone who threw gasoline on the fire? Sure. But those cultists that show up to dance around the bonfire, they're the problem. And I'm not gonna put up with it. Not anymore. From the time the raiding community has attacked me four times over now, it's not only your game and you're a minority. I do not care about you. But I will also now speak up, and I've already talked to people, and some of you got kicked out of your guilds and you deserved it. And I will do it again. You will not be leeching off the success of content creators and good players in the game if you cannot treat people like human beings on a public forum. Because you disagree, all you have to do is say nothing at all because it'll fall out into the void anyways. Because I doubt Anet's just going to undo a feature that really won't cause any problems. And they know it. But to go as far and harass people outside of the game because they feel they feel a certain way about a feature is insane it's it's just absolutely psychotic and i'm not gonna have it and i read through the forum and i looked through and i saw the names i saw your accounts i know who you are and the other people complaining, some of them are trying to make you understand and justify the, the actual concrete criticism that was there. And you just went off the deep end thinking somehow they're going to get this thing taken out of the game. Same thing happened to me with the Raiders. They thought somehow it's going to get raids taken out of the game or some shit. Get over yourselves. There's other content and other things to do with your life. I'm not happy about that. It is such a small little part of the community. And I hope you all fall off the face of the earth. Because I can't see you being good for anything. Take that criticism. If you continue to be a Guild Wars 2 slug, and continue to talk shit about the game for no reason, and continue to harass people for no reason, and continue to think that the content that you can't even do somehow should be the only content in the game, you're a problem. And we're not gonna have it anymore. I've talked to enough people. I didn't want to talk to them, but I had to. You got kicked out of your world versus world guild because you had to go open your mouth about a fashion feature. Why? Because they can't trust you anymore if you're willing to go call someone autistic that's part of another world versus world group. That's better than you. You're gonna put a target on their back. You're insane to think that's okay behavior. Oh, it's the internet. It's the way it is. I saw the justification in your mind, but you're not human. You're the one that's not human. The people feeling away are human. You coming in to destroy them with a full-on nuke to make them sad, depressed, think twice about living, that's what you're aiming to do, right? Because if they're gone, they'll never do it again, and that'll make you safe. But fuck your safety. All you had to do was shut up or say, I disagree but you're too immature to do it. You're the babies. You're the whiners. You're the bullies. 
I am not happy. I don't care about the Inspect Cosmetics. I didn't care that much. That's why I was shooting the memes out there too. But the fun was over the moment I found out that you, you just pricks had to exist. A big fuck you from the Salt Cube Factory. And for those people that I know got kicked out of your groups, you're not, you're not gonna find another one either. You'll have to go make your own community. Good luck with that. And some of you are already part of the uh, other problems and issues and stuff too. So this is exactly what I'm talking about. If you have a problem with the game, never be afraid to voice your opinion. Just don't read the reactions. Because some people, they live in their echo chambers of little whatever, right? They'll go to a Muckluck stream, they'll go to a, uh, a, a Mighty Teapot stream, or whatever big content creator, Valen stream, right? They'll go to these bigger content creators with hundreds of people in there, and they'll spout off their fucking ideas and shit in that chat, and then they'll be like, I watched Mighty Teapot do this, anyone could do it. No! He is a professional Guild Wars 2 player. He's eSports level of knowledge. Could I do it? Maybe. Maybe. And that's coming from me with freaking 16,000 hours in the game. You are not as good as you think you are. And the shit that comes out of your mouth is exactly that. It's just shit. You vomit talking pieces of trash. Get out of my game. You get out of the game. Not them complaining about the feature. No, no, no. See, that kind of criticism can be used. Whatever you're doing, that's the hate. That's the fucking hate already out there in the real world. We don't need that here. We don't. I'm done. I'm done talking about it. I didn't think I was going to get that worked up about it, but whatever. Let alone if I found out a guilty of mine. If I found out a guilty of mine had the same kind of response some of you guys, not only would they get an earful, not only would they get kicked from my guild, I would tell everyone. Because it's so vile. And also, what's the problem with having autism? Stop using it as your, like, degrading thing when they're finding out more and more people have autism. Like, the spectrum is so big, you're so... Stupid. You're you're the problem. You're the problem. You have the intelligence to know the difference. But you feel like if you can project it onto someone else, deflect it, reflect it, whatever, that somehow you're gonna be better than that person or whatever. You're just immature. All they do is communicate differently from everyone else. That's it. That's the biggest... Th most people that have autism, the only thing that's different from them in functionality of the way normal people function is that they just communicate differently. You mix them together, since the normal people don't know how these people communicate, of course it never works. And this is why normal people act the way they do, because they think those people somehow mess up the system. But if I take a bunch of those people, right, especially high-functioning people with autism, and put them in a group, they will be more successful than the normal group, more than likely, because at least they'll be supported in something, unlike you, who obviously didn't have people around you to tell you not say stupid shit, even online. Oh, I'm anonymous, blah, blah, blah. Not as anonymous as you think you are. If I could find your guild account and your alt accounts in about six hours time with a simple question, do you know this person? On Discord and walked away from my machine and came back, was eating pizza and got the information, you are not anonymous. One of those is gonna lead back to something in real life, a social media account. And from there, I got gotcha. you. Because you probably can't shut up. But maybe now is the time. The next quality of life feature that they put in the game, how about when you like it, you just go to the forums and go, hey, I like this thing. And start your own little post saying how much you love the inspecting cosmetics. 
And they can have their other forum post where it says, ah, I don't like that feature. And then two parties are going to be fighting against each other who can post who likes or doesn't like it more. How about you do it that way? Make it a competition. Oh, no, that's a mature way to approach it. I forgot. We are playing video games and all video games are meant for kids, right? God, I just can't imagine a mind that bounces around as much as that shit. Nope, still, still can't imagine it. The B dogs have patches on them. We're done today. Just wanted to touch upon that. Should have done it at the beginning, but whatever. Anybody have any questions, comments, concerns in chat? Didi, thank you so much for the uh, gift of memberships and becoming cubed yourself. I believe we earned an emote or two today because of that. You're at like 18 memberships because I gifted 10 myself because YouTube's like, here's, here's gifting memberships. And I was like, how many? And they're like 10. I was like, the hell there is. Didi, Midian, thanks for being my mods. Any other mods lurking in chat, I appreciate you. I hope you're all having fun with Super Adventure Box. I'm going to get out of here. I don't think I have anything else to cover in Guild Wars 2's content here. We will be back at the next major update. For sure. I didn't realize this was purple. Nice. Bum, bum. What do I have on my? All right, getting distracted. Does magic fine work with glitch chests? No, it's a solid based 5% chance, I believe. Something like that. 3%, 5%. I think the super adventure, the super, what's it called? The super weapon box, the yellow one is a 5%. The glitched, the glitched weapon, it's not a chest, right? Um, the glitched weapon you can get out of the glitch chest is a 5% chance. The Kaiser weapon is a about 0.75, something like that. If you actually probably add up all the chests you've opened and the glitch chests, glitch weapons you get, it will be about 5%. I felt that way last year, but like, when I really started to think about it, 5%, 95% of the time, you're not gonna get anything. <laughs> And I don't know if 5% is the true percentage. It could be higher than that, but you got to remember 95% of the time, you're not going to get it. How about the hard light? Uh, I'm not really sure. That's in the super loot stuff, right? The super loot bags. Um, it They don't have the percentage there. But yeah, I think I ended up with only three of those last year out of all of it. So... Out of 60 chests, three of them? I don't know what three out of 60 is. But that's probably pushing that, yeah, that 0 0.75. 0.05, that, that 0 0.05, or yeah, 0 0.5, 0 0.05 or something like that percentage range. It's really hard to get it. But the thing is, it also depends on how many rolls are happening, right? So if they put something at 0.75% and, you know, there's freaking let's say a hundred thousand rolls a day that's actually a decent amount of weapons more than likely um you're introducing hundreds of skins um in a certain amount of time and that kind of thing like a week so it's not a lot but at the same time they're still they're they're happening um but you got to remember that the trading post is a hundred percent of the time right so if you have the gold you can always get it but I don't know. I don't open my super loot boxes until the very end. Um, and then cash everything out for more bobble bubbles. That's the other thing. The super loot bags. I didn't talk about that either. The super loot bags and all that other stuff that gives you extra bobbles and continue coins or whatever. 
Um, it definitely gives you a champ box, I remember. Um, or a bobble bubble, just straight up. Like, a lot of that stuff just helps pad the wallet. Um, for those trying to get all that stuff unlocked. The crimson coins, I think, only come from the daily stuff. But those can also be converted over, I think, so... But yeah, that rarer stuff, like the re the retro forged weapon chest, um, is still pretty rare, but not too rare. I think I had four weapons to unlock, five weapons to unlock, like I was saying. But I still have half of them done since they introduced that three years ago. This is the eleventh Super Adventure box, so right. Ten or eleven. It's hard to believe because we didn't have it for a while there, but we had two in the same year. So, but things. I believe the hardest one is going to be the Golem Buster weapons because you're only going to be able to get four or five of those this year because they come from the weekly. So, get two. Get one from the thing, one from the weekly, 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 weekly. So five, I think, are possible. And then what's the other ones? The generation one boxes. There's nothing really to show you. Um, the gen one boxes. I think you can get those once a week. Did I have one of those? Yeah. So you get, you only get four of those total too this year but those can be sold they're still selling for like 13 gold i don't think you can buy them anywhere do not buy the glitched weapon boxes please don't do that that's that's scary that's scary that that's there very scary <laughs> You have to unlock all the crimson weapons to get. Yeah, one crimson assassin token is a bobble bubble too. Like getting the bobble bubbles you need is not too hard compared to like jaw breakers and that kind of stuff. I feel, um, you know, the the snow diamonds and that kind of stuff is much harder to get than um, the bobble bubbles for sure. But it's a low chance. So me getting two glitched weapons day one was uh, sort of amazing because I haven't got any since. <laughs> but that's usually how it goes. When I get one, I get another one. Uh, same thing happened with Super Weapon Box, the, those rare ones. I got one and then I got a second one right in a row. Um, it's just how it does. I get nothing, and then I get everything at once. Hopefully I can pull out a Kaiser box this year and stuff like that. But I believe I have all that, all those collections and stuff done. Um, yeah. Went into the festival one. Yeah, the glitched adventure, the Kaiser. Um, that's all done. Crimson Assassin. You can buy that back piece early if you want. King Toad, the Storm, Storm Wizard, and the Super, the Super Adventure, just the regular weapons. Yeah, all those are done. Only thing I got left is Winter's Presence and Royal Flame weapons. So, um, we will go achievement hunting at some point this year. Even though expansion's probably towards the end of the year. The first major update after the expansion, I think, will achievement hunt if I'm... Sorry, excuse me. If I'm not at 45,000. So, um, that will happen later this year. But I think I'm going to accidentally hit it anyways. So, um... Is there anything else? Think so. We all good? Everybody hit the like button. Everybody subscribe. Uh, thanks everybody for the support on the last video. It's projected to hit like 950 views. I got. The, I finally got the first dislike on that video. Um. 
I'm always waiting for it, but we, like, that's the first time a video's hit over 20 likes in a long time, too, so, um, but eventually there's always, there's always somebody. And I guess it happened earlier today or something, because I think I saw it last night was still at, like, 21, 21 likes, so. But again, I appreciate that. I hope you all having fun with Guild Wars 2. I know I was complaining today, but the, I don't know, I just... I don't know what kind of content ANET could make me enjoy as a veteran, um, but this ain't it. <laughs> as a new, again, but as a new player, yes, you will love it. Uh, as a new player that maybe will want to try or buy the game, look for my links down below. I'm an ArenaNet partner, so uh, I'm partnered with them. Uh, the devs do a lot of hard work, so if you'd like to buy the game and try it out, there's no subscription cost. I'll, I always uh, feel like people think maybe there's a subscription cost, not this one. Um, there is microtransactions in the game, and yes, buying some things off the gym store does make your experience better. But um, overall, it's a pretty cheap MMO to get into. You can always do the free-to-play version of it. That, that link is down there. Um, but with all the expansions and stuff, when they go on sale, be looking for that. It's one of the cheapest MMOs to get into. Another expansion's coming this year. So if you want to jump in and get it done during the summer and that kind of thing, I don't even know if that's possible. Because there's that much story, there's that much content, that much stuff to unlock. There's so much. It has one of the best mount systems in the game, in, an, in a, any video game, in my opinion. Um... And uh, this game rewards you. You get tons of loot. So you always feel pretty satisfied, especially as a new player. Tons of achievements to unlock, all that kind of stuff. So no matter how you play your MMO, uh, this game has a lot. There's still gathering farms. There's still events, dynamic events. Questing is sort of uh, non-existent or at least different enough that it doesn't feel too grindy at times. But um, yeah, there it is, Guild Wars 2. There is a reason I have 16,000 hours in this game. It's probably going to be the most played game my entire life. I'll probably die before another game will ever get that many hours of play from me. Which is crazy to think about. I've played so much Guild Wars 2 over this time period and invested so much of my time in it. It's crazy to think that, like, even if it takes another 30, 40 years for me to die, um, there will probably not be another game where I've spent as much time. This is it. I wish Annette would make the people on Friends like the color orange, for example, out in the PvE world so you can notice them more. Yeah. Or something to say on their Friends list. It would be it would be neat to see um, maybe a marker, like a symbol if you mouse over them too. Like they do with PvP. You know, next to their name, like, oh, you have this person on your friends list. Or, or the other one. <laughs> you have them blocked. <laughs> the mark of shame. I understand why they don't do that, but yeah, I, I agree, Rabbit Footy. I think uh, that would be an interesting, uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Just like your guildies. I always, every time I'm in World vs. World, like, for some reason, like, I've done so much World vs. World lately, and we've all been in the squad when I see my guildies, that, like, I forget yellow is the color, so once in a while I'll see a yellow name, I'm like, what is that? And it's like, oh, it's somebody not running with us, but it has our tag on. And it's, it confuses me so much in the moment now, um, because I'm so used to, like, the blue names. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe... Maybe it's a good idea, maybe it's a bad idea, but you know what? Can I opt in or out, you know? like, <laughs> Is there an option to turn it off in the graphics setting, you know? But anyhow, I'm gonna get out of here uh, so you can all enjoy the rest of your weekend. We will be back on Monday with actually Slay the Spire. I know I said Final Fantasy IX, but we had so much fun with Slay the Spire. Oh, at least I did on Friday. That I'll be back in Slay the Spire on Monday, and then we'll be in Stardew Valley Monday evening. Um, Yes, you have a happy weekend as well, Galka. Also, those who are celebrating 420, please stay safe. Um, I don't think you would do anything crazy today. But, uh, you know, the time has passed for uh, many of the celebration. 
But blaze it, I guess? I don't participate. Give Lucky a, a hug? Yeah. Him and Bo were sharing the bed earlier. It was really cute. And then, uh... He had to get up and Bo moved. I don't know what happened. But, uh, yeah. God, I love my dogs. Lucky yesterday, he pushed the line, though. I, I was gonna ground him. But I said, no, no, no grounding. How do you ground a dog? I don't know, but I was gonna I was gonna try to figure out a way if he didn't stop. But he didn't he didn't pee on the floor. Alright? He like I thought he peed on the floor at one point, but I guess he didn't. He was sniffing for something. So uh, he, he was he was being really annoying and active, but I think it was because of his earache. So yeah. Definitely will give him a Bo! Bo is amazing. Bo sleeps right here every night. Bo wakes up and sniffs, sniffs my nose, and I go, what are you doing? And then he sneezes into my mouth every morning. It's, it's an amazing experience. <laughs> and as always, wait for that amazing experience. As always, I leave you with this. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. All we got. Have a great night, day, evening, morning, afternoon. Whatever time it is, make it great. If you go, go into bed, sleep well, get that rest. You will need it, trust me. If I don't see you for the rest of this weekend, which you probably won't unless you're watching the VODs, uh, have a great weekend. Have a great weekend. Watch the VODs. Catch up on Stardew Valley if you haven't. 1.6 has been amazing. Uh, if you've not been playing Stardew Valley 1.6, get in there. If you've not been playing Super Adventure Box for Guild Wars 2, get in there. Uh, what else? Play some Balatro. Get in Slay the Spire. All these games have been fun lately. Uh, we played Final Fantasy VIII not too long ago, and that was an amazing time. If you want to go check that out, play better than I did, though. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I, but, you know, I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to be too much of a perfectionist. You know, that just happens. But enjoy those VODs. If I don't see for the rest of April, stay warm out there. It, got, it froze last night where I am. It's going to freeze again tonight. Whatever the heck that is. Good luck. Good luck, nature. Um, <laughs> if I don't see for the rest of 2024, enjoy your 20. 24 uh i will continue to make content this year because it's been insane why not maybe maybe i'll get this other stuff done so you can you can enjoy some some of the uh <laughs> other things i've had planned it did not get done in april so far oh god we only have like two weeks left not even 11 days 10 days oh god bye <laughs>